Keeping an eye out. Got it. Hmm? You must gather your party before venturing forth. How may I help? What can I do for you? Of course, merely processing some of the unusual things we've seen lately. And if Meowald is to be believed, it would seem you've an uncertain future ahead.
Perhaps Defiance Bay holds the answers we need. Hey. That old watcher. <laughs> I don't know what I expected, but it sure wasn't that. Nah, it's... Well, it's kind of embarrassing now. I just got a dumb idea in my head is all. All right. Guess fair is fair, and you did bring me to see him. Those rumors back in Gilded Vale about my brother, Woden. About how he'd turned against us and fought for Widewin. The thing about Woden was, he always knew what was right, and that's what he'd do. One day he set out to fight for Deerwood against a man claiming to be our god. So I knew that's what I had to do, too. It was right. But hearing claims that he died fighting for Ray at Saris, that got me worried. Not that he'd chosen the wrong side, but that I had. I thought, maybe this old Watcher would know how my brother died. So I could see if it was true. Like he could, I don't know, read it in my soul or something. Use our connection. Of course, I knew the truth deep down. The Watcher's not psychic. I think I just had this idea, and the idea made me feel a certain way, and I didn't want to lose that. You've done a lot for me already, but if you could see fit to pay that archive a visit with me, well, you know. Yeah? Hush, Itumak. We'll just wait a little longer. Easy, Itumak. It's not him. Short version? I'm looking for a very, very old friend. I'm not sure what skin he's wearing now, but I'll know him when I see him. That's what I heard. Of course, the man who told me so was carrying a staff he claimed was made from dragon bone, but I know Whitewood when I see it. The long version. Here we go. I'm from an island to the far south called Nasitok. I came here looking for a village elder, a man we knew as Persok. I'm a hunter back home, so tracking someone wouldn't normally be a problem. That about sums it up. Then you have my sympathies. Hopefully you've got a better lead than I do. Cute, isn't it? It belonged to Persok. Before he returned to the wheel, he left a splinter of his soul in it. When I left Nasitok, it was completely dark inside. But as I've gotten closer to Persok, it's glowed steadily brighter. Since I've reached the Deerwood, however, it's gotten hard to read. Some days it flickers and goes dark. I've heard that one before. Whole reason I'm standing here is because some so-called watcher from Forkedvale told me he could take a look. I was on my way out of the Balmarsh when I heard talk of a traveling mystic who could supposedly see souls. I knew it was a long shot, but what did I have to lose? I went to see this fellow and gave him the Audra figurine. He thought he was being vague, but I know the area well enough to recognize that he meant this place, right between Defiance Bay and Twin Elms. I had a bad taste in my mouth, but my coin was spent and I'd already left an arrow in his knapsack as a friendly warning. Why? Fine. But if you try to run, just remember that my arrows are faster. What are you talking about? What just happened? 
You realize I've got no coin to give you, even if I did believe you. If this is your idea of a joke, you may be stuck with me for a while. Hmm? Yeah? Defiance Bay, the city at the heart of the Deerwoods Revolution, now seems on the brink of another. Refugees line the streets, homeless and hungry, displaced by White One's legacy, hoping for relief within the city walls and finding none. Dissidents congregate to protest and to heckle, calling for an end to animancy and the ouster of their duke. The city's militiamen cast fearful looks as they patrol the streets, their hands trembling at the hilts of their weapons. The capital of a country that had not long ago incinerated a god now appears to be a spark away from sharing the deity's fate. Defiance Bay. I miss Adir hmm? already. If doubts and curiosity play. Hmm? If doubts and curiosity. Hmm? If doubts and curiosity play. Where I hail from? From one of Margren's fires. A cathedral. Ashfall. I studied the scriptures there. 
the fires carved into the land, the trunks of the burnt trees, and in the factories where the rifles and cartridges were shaped. This, in a way, this, this is more of what's left behind when flame strikes. If Ashfall is a cathedral propped up and fenced with such sticks, then this stick, well, this is what props me up as I walk the cathedral of my road. The wood is taken from the war of black trees, sturdy. Ready, Watcher. Yes? Hi? Hey. Hmm? Following your lead. What? Hi? Eh? Eh? Gods keep you. Good day, stranger.
hale and well met. Hey, the dozens. Pretty sure you won't find one among them who stood within a hundred miles of that bridge when the Godhammer went off. I could while away hours in here, if we had the time, of course. Welcome. Do we? A simple test. That's settled. Brave Dalfilot. Let's go! Hmm? 
Sure. Good day, stranger. Good day, stranger.
is this the old church you were looking for? Praise to the exiled queen. May her crown be restored and her justice prevail. Come to pay your respects to the queen that was. A queen among the gods. Of course, not everyone accepts this. Even among the other gods, her authority is questioned. And so you did. These savage colonists may have burned it down, but worship of the Oathbinder is alive and well. These stairs, of course. The Sanctum was always below ground, adjacent to the catacombs. There are various entrances throughout Defiance Bay, but I dare say the easiest to reach is in Copper Lane. Lord Ardwellen Rugform III, and pleased to make your acquaintance. Worshipping Woodica, the exiled queen and oathbinder. I come every day to offer my devotion. I beg your pardon? A madhouse. That's what this town really needs. Hmm? All these circling feet heading nowhere. Hello? A simple test. That's settled.
Good day, stranger. Politics, infighting, greed, and a good day to you. Welcome. You must gather your party before venturing forth. <laughs> 